Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sohan, and you're watching Technical Spark. Friends, in our today's DLP series, we are going to cover how to upgrade your DLP agent from older version to new version, step by step. And here, I'm going to cover two methods. One is directly from the EPO without downloading, uh, you know, without importing manual package, and second is with manual steps. And the preferred one is always the manual one, as per the best practices. So that is something which we'll discuss practically while in you know, upgrading the DLP on your EPO server as well as on the end user machine. And friends, upgrading DLP you now helps you to keep your environment compliant. Means if there's any known issue in the existing version or vulnerabilities, then that can be solved when you upgrade your uh, product version. So without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So as always, very first, let's launch our EPO console and here we go. Let me sign in and if I directly go to the my menu and then master repository, then you will be able to see what is the current version which is installed on my EPO console. So that is this one 11.10.0.292 and now 11.10.100 version is available. So we are going to upgrade our product to that particular version. Okay guys, but before we start, you know, always, you know, refer your product release note so that you will get to know if there is any issues or, you know, in any new feature as well as the upgrade path. So all those information is available under the release notes. So here is our DLP release note to on which version we are going to upgrade. So this is the top version right now, 11.10.100. And if I just scroll down, then it says it's released on April 27, 2023. These are the agent as well as extension version. Okay guys. And if you check out here, then this is very important under the note. Trilix DLP endpoint 11.10 update 1 requires Trilix DLP 11.10.6.11 extension. Otherwise, this particular version which will not work properly. So make sure you are upgrading extension also at the time of upgrading your agent version. So this is something you will always have to keep in mind. Furthermore, if I just scroll little more down, then here we'll get upgrade paths not supported, which means uh, if you are running 11.6.700, 11.9.0, 11.9.100, 11.10.1, and from this version, you are directly upgrading to 11.10.100, then it's not supported for Windows 7 Service Pack 1, Windows 2K12 R2, Windows 8.1. So always read this information. Okay, so that you will be uh, in a safer side instead of putting yourself in trouble. So hopefully guys, now the things are clear that what are the first thing you will have to think before you update the version. And one more thing guys, uh, after you have gone through the release note, always check the known issues also for that specific version. Okay, so if there is anything you know uh, recently came up, then also you will get to know. Let me show you how you can you know, check for the known issue like Trilix DLP known issues you just have to simply search this particular you know keywords on your uh, search bar and you will get the complete information available this is the key article kp89301 for the data loss prevention 11.x known issues scroll down and we are using dlp endpoint so let's expand this and here are the some information critical issues this is one of the issue which is fixed in 11.10.100. This is the vulnerability. So as I said earlier, new version always help you to you know, patch the vulnerabilities. Similarly, you can just go through with all the details which is available here for the criticals. And if you scroll a little more down, then here are the non-critical versions, or vulnerability details or known issue details. So always report this information. Now let's go back to our EPO console. And let me show you very first way method to upgrade the your EPO server but before that again one important thing you very first you will have to go to the server task log before you you know plan to upgrade your products so as you could see in my console right now disaster recovery snap to snapshot process is going on and it has completed almost 30 percent 31 percent okay which means if i try to upgrade my product now or uh, dlp agent now then there is a chances that i may feel some trouble so always make sure that you don't have any task which is in in progress so i just filter down 
and I could see here 31 percent are completed. So this is something we will always have to keep in mind. Let me just search this so that we'll get to know how much time this particular task usually takes. So copied and then here we'll set all paste apply. But the last time also uh, my this particular task has been completed. So let's check out how much time it usually take. It takes eight minutes, right? So let's wait for some time until and unless this process complete because uh, cancelling this particular process which is in, in progress is you know not good because this is one of the critical things because my entire backup is getting saved in SQL database. So we just have only one option that is waiting. Guys, meanwhile this upgrade task is going on. Let me show you that how you can upgrade your uh, DLP agent using software manager. For that under menu you will have to go to the software catalog under software catalog if you check out here then it shows updates available so here is my dlp version for which the update is required uh, let me expand this and here we go two updates are available now you have one option okay very first is our extension and second one is our actual agent for windows so this is the available version and this is one is install one so you can directly update your DLP extension very first simply by clicking on this particular option or directly from here. Very first you will have to upgrade the extension and then you can update your DLP agent. So this is one of the way but I, I know, don't recommend uh, or I just don't feel good to use this method because if uh, anything happened to my network and the package is not correctly downloaded then I might get some issues while upgrading, uh, upgrading this particular agent that's the reason automatic upgradation I don't prefer so hence I always choose to go with the manual uh, upgradation for that you can directly download your package from here as well as here extension and package or else you can visit your Trellix download site. Let me visit that. Trellix product download. Click on the very first link which is appeared. And here you will have to enter your grant number as well as the email address. Once you enter that, click on submit. My details are already been filled, so I don't have to enter it. Power back to. Once you enter all the details, then you will land be getting landing to this particular page. In the, if you can directly click on two or three and then search for the DLP uh, your package or else you can directly click on data loss prevention and here we go our this is our version so click on that and now uh, since I'm not using Mac OS so I'm not going to download this but yeah this is my extension so simply click on this particular extension and it will get downloaded so download has been begin now we'll have to download the agent package for our windows so this is the agent package let's we'll download that as well and here it also shows the size so my dlp extension size is 202 mb and my dlp agent size is 408 mb okay guys if in case you are using mac then yeah you can download the mac agent as well now let me go back to my epo server meanwhile these softwares are getting downloaded so very first we'll go to the server task log again to check out whether our uh, yeah perfect our backup has been completed snapshot disaster recovery how much time it took it took five minutes perfect so very first we'll upgrade our extension for that we'll have to go to the menu and then extension okay always keep in mind guys irrespective of uh, whatever the product you want to upgrade on your epo server very first you will have to upgrade the extension that is must let's check out whether extensions are downloaded yeah perfect extensions are downloaded successfully where it is it's under download folder so let's click on install extension choose file go to the download and here is my dlp extensions open and then click on ok 11.10.5.9 this is the, the existing one okay and here is the net latest one 11.10.6.11 and this will replace the existing extension so that is fine now click on ok so that uh, extension will get installed in our epo server and accordingly it will make the modification into the sql database this is one of the very best process guys because all the process is in front of you and guys just for your information if your environment is smaller like if you are managing just uh, 
टेन फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड मशीन देन दिस एक्सटेंशन अपग्रेडेड प्रोसेस विल टेक समवेयर अराउंड फाइव टू टेन मिनट्स बट इफ यू आर मैनेजिंग मोर देन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड मशीन इन यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देन इट मे टेक अप टू थर्टी टू फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स एज वेल सो यू विल हैव टू बी वेरी पेशेंट वेन यू अपग्रेड यूर डी एल पी वेन यू अपग्रेड एक्सटेंशंस परफेक्ट माय डी एल पी एक्सटेंशन हैज बीन अपग्रेडेड टू द लेटेस्ट वर्जन नाउ नेक्स्ट वील हैव टू अपग्रेड अवर डी एल पी एजेंट विच इज वी आर यू नो यूजली इंस्टॉलिंग इन अवर क्लाइन मशीन सो फॉर दैट वील हैव टू गो टू द मेन रिपोजिटरी अंडर दिस इफ यू चेक आउट हियर देन करंट इंस्टॉल वर्जन इज इलेवन नॉट टेन डॉट जीरो टू नाइनटी टू एंड दिस इज इन अंडर द विच ब्रांच करंट ब्रांच सो वट वील डू वील चेंज मूव दिस पर्टिकुलर पैकेज फ्रॉम करंट ब्रांच टू प्रीवियस ब्रांच वाइल इंस्टॉलिंग इम्पोर्टिंग द पैकेज सो लेट्स क्लिक ऑन चेक इन पैकेज एंड या द डाउनलोड हेज बिन कंप्लीट राइट सो क्लिक ऑन चूज फाइल देन हियर इज अवर डी एल पी एजेंट पैकेज फॉर विंडोज नाउ क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट ओके नाउ वट इट सेज इन करंट ब्रांच देर इज ऑलरेडी वन पैकेज इज अवेलेबल दैट इज दिस वन एंड अवर लेटेस्ट वन इज इलेवन डॉट टेन डॉट हंड्रेड सो वी मूव दिस पर्टिकुलर पैकेज विच मीन्स दिस वन फ्रॉम द एक्जिस्टिंग पैकेज टू द प्रीवियस ब्रांच विच मीन्स दिस पर्टिकुलर पैकेज विल गो मूव टू द प्रीवियस ब्रांच एंड दिस पैकेज विल गेट एडेड इन टू द करंट ब्रांच ओके नाउ लेट्स क्लिक ऑन सेव great so my package has been added now see these are two versions one is 11.10.0 to 92 this is a uh, second last one is our older one and the last second one which is our latest one so the last second one has to be in current uh, branch let's check out yes and my uh, previous package is into the previous branch so everything is configured we have successfully imported our uh, dlp extension as well as package into the ebro server now the next thing we we'll have to do is go to the client task catalog and then click on product deployment here i have already one existing task present so let's click on that itself see earlier i have co configured this task with our 11.10.0.292 this version but since we have upgraded our dlp extension that's the reason it was got empty like this so let's select the existing package again 11.10.0.292 and let me copy this uh name let's save this because whenever you upgrade your dlp agent and if you play around with your existing branches then yeah this issue is normal that your existing selection will get removed now let me create one new task here for that click on new task product deployment that is correct click on okay let's change the task name which we have copied and select the latest version 11.10.100.172 so let me add those details in the task name as well 100.172 perfect now click on save so my new task has been ready and guys you can directly assign your task by clicking on this assign button from the client task catalog window itself okay but let me go to the system tree and check my system that is t1 current install version it 11.10.0.292 and assign client task is 11.10.0.292 so let me delete this one because we don't require this okay so my client task has been deleted now what i'll do i'll add one more client task or new client task so for that we'll have to select product deployment and this is our latest version 11.10.100.172 and this send task to all computer and here we'll select action as a run immediately guys if you need more information like how you can do the tagging and other stuff then for that i have already created one video just be you know check out my playlist and you will find the exact video in which you will get a detailed knowledge for the product deployment Okay so we are almost done let's click on save my client task has been added now now let's click on system so that this version will get upgraded now let's move to the our client machine so that we'll observe whether the whether the agent are getting upgraded or not so guys this is my client machine now let me open my agent status monitor as well as about window 
सी इस होस्ट नेम इज टी वन एंड करंट इंस्टॉल वर्जन इज इलेवन डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट टू नाइनटी टू लेट मी शो इट फ्रॉम डी एल पी एजेंट कंसोर एज वेल अबाउट सी इलेवन डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट टू नाइनटी टू इट्स ओल्डर वर्जन ना लेट्स क्लिक ऑन चेक फॉर न्यू पॉलिसी it look likes my task has been received and it has become active although if you haven't done it manually like check for new policy and post policy then it's uh, whenever the next time we, uh, my agent go communicate with epo server this package would have automatically received there is no manual intervention is required now we'll download a couple of file like catalog and verified it now the actual uh, agent is getting downloaded on my machine let me maximize this so that we will be able to see things very much clearly guys now let's uh, check out by right clicking on yes see my managed features under which we were able to find dlp in one console so that option has been gone right which means my operation is actually uh, going on uh, in background let's wait for few more seconds Great. Now we started enforcing policy for our DLP agent as well. We check out whether our DLP agent has been yeah perfect. Now if I go to the manage features under DLP endpoint console, then go to the about and it shows the latest version eleven dot ten dot hundred one seventy two that which is patch one. Let's close this. Update section two version eleven dot ten dot hundred and it shows update finish and our assigned task is also what. Finish. So guys, this is how the uh, DLP agent is getting upgraded on your local machines. See, here also we got the latest version. Now let's go back to our APO server. So guys, let uh, right now it's showing eleven dot ten dot zero two nine two two version. So let me refresh the screen once. Perfect. Now it's showing eleven dot ten dot hundred one seventy two. And guys, there is one more option the, through which you can upgrade your uh, DLP agent to the latest version. That is from simply select the machine, action, then agent, and here you will have to select run client task now. Under this, you will have to go to the select in the left hand side, select the agent, then product deployment, and then your task. In my case, it is eleven dot ten dot hundred. You will have to select those and then click on run task now. Then it will show the pro process with the three dots, whether it's completed, failed, or and all the information. So this is also one of the way. And the third way is you can directly export the package of your DLP agent and install it on your end user machine. And from where you will get the package? So for that also, you can directly you know install this particular package on the end user machine. Let me open and show you. Here it is, thirty-two bit and sixty-four bit. Or you can go to the this PC and then C drive. Check out the directory where your EPO server is installed, and go to the Mac API, EPO policy orchestrator, and then you will have to use DB, then software, and our package is in current version, right? Current branch, right? So we'll have to go to the current branch, and here is the DLP E eleven. Okay, so let's open that. Install zero four zero nine, and here is the our DLP package. You can copy this zero four zero nine folder and install this exe or directly on the end user machine. So these are the couple of ways which is uh, available to upgrade your DLP agent on end user machine as well as on your EPO server. So hopefully, friends, now your all doubts has been cleared regarding the DLP agent upgradation on management server or as well as the client machine. And if it's in case if you still have any question queries, then don't forget to put it into the comment box below. I'll try my best to answer all your queries. And as always, if you are watching my video for very first time and haven't subscribed, then I request you if you found this you know content kind of a useful or you know it has added some kind of knowledge, then don't forget to click on the like button and press on the subscribe button so that. As well as enable the bell notification so that whenever I upload videos, you will get my video notification, so that you won't miss the things. So, friends, that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.